Good morning, adventurers. Welcome to day three of our cruise with Royal Caribbean on the Symphony of the Seas. We are going to be doing a food tour today, and we figured we'd start off by just getting room service because they offer all kinds of awesome room service options. We filled out our card and, and put what we want last night and then put it on the door. And they, they brought us it this all. morning and they said, Ma'am, sir, your food is on its way. Please wake up. Yeah, and we also got a mimosa and a Bloody Mary. Oh, yeah, and a Bloody Mary. Best way to start the day. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's out, you're on a cruise, right? We're in France now. Yeah, we're actually pulling into Marseille right now. So let's take a look at what we've got here. We've got a plate full of delicious looking fruit. We got some blueberry pancakes. All right. Some, one of these is chicken and one is yeah, regular chicken sausage. Chicken sausage, regular sausage. Oh, a little granola. I didn't notice that. Granola, nice. some yogurt, bananas, just a nice little spread. Do we have syrup? Oh, we have syrup. Ooh, yeah. check this out. Maple syrup. We're just in awe every time they park this giant ship. It is a friggin' art form watching this thing just slowly creep into its spot. We are gonna be eating a lot of food today, so first things first, we are headed to the gym. Let's work out! All right, this workout's over. <laughs> Get out of here. We are properly jacked up, y'all. <laughs> but uh, we are ready to take on this day. First, or actually the next thing that we're gonna eat today is um, we, they actually have juices and fresh smoothies and stuff here at the gym. We which, just found it out yesterday. Yeah, and we've been like, we're so definitely excited. putting that in the video. So we're gonna give those a try now. This juice looks absolutely delicious, you guys. I'm so impressed. They had all fresh ingredients up there. I don't know about you guys, but I always associate a cruise with like pre-packaged stuff and not that high quality food, but the stuff on this cruise has been insane. This is about as legit as, as fresh juice gets. We've got apple, carrot, I think I put some lemon in there, and uh, what else did I get in there? Spinach, yeah. And it made this nice, delicious, appetizing brown color. <laughs> the juice always tastes better than it looks, you know. Oh wow, surprisingly sweet. Oh yeah. I think you got a couple of apples in there. Yeah, nice. That's the way to do it. You put all the healthy stuff in and then put a ton of apples or a little bit of ginger or mint in there and that'll cover up all that stuff. But I had them put some ice cubes in it so it's nice and cold. Oh yeah, this is perfect for after workout. Mine is a much more appetizing orange color. <laughs> kind of the color of my hair. Did you get carrot in yours too? I did. I did carrot, beet, spinach, orange, mint. I think that's it. You can taste that orange juice. Oh, it's so good. It's so fresh. They like did they have like a fresh orange juice squeezer. This is perfect. Cheers. Yeah. To health and vitality and stuffing our faces later on. Being the biggest cruise ship in the world, of course, they have a huge buffet. This is the Windjammer. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and they have so many food options. It's hard to keep it all oh, straight. It's insane, and I believe it changes daily. So there's, you can try unlimited things, and it smells so good. Yeah, so we're I'm gonna so go hungry. fill our plates and fill our bellies. We've got a lot of food to eat today, so we decided to keep it a little bit light. I got, um, I think this is just some Indian curry. They have Indian food, they have uh, breakfast over there. They have everything you can imagine, a build your own pasta bar. You can create your own sandwich. They have pizza, they have So many burgers. desserts, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, hot dogs, oh my gosh, everything. But I got this uh, curry. This lamb curry, Yeah, right? lamb curry, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna guess. Bit of uh, fresh vegetables, had to, had to get at least something green on my plate. A little bit of naan over here, and then I think this is just some uh, pork cut up, and then some chicken. Yep. And yours is a little more colorful than mine. I tried to do a good mix of everything. So I got some cured meat because that's like my favorite thing in the world, with some little like 
I guess, deconstructed caprese salad, uh, some marinated zucchini, and then I got veggie ratatouille, just vegetables, and then this is uh, pork, or I guess schnitzel? Yeah. With some sauce. I mean, I still probably got way too much, but yeah. our next reservation- It's so hard not yeah, to. Yeah, our next place isn't until like six, and it's only noon now, so yeah. I think it did okay. And we also got a little white wine. Yeah. We don't usually drink white wine, but it sounded uh, more appropriate than red wine. Yeah, and it's a little warm up here, finally. The sun's coming out. Yeah. It just felt right. It's a nice day. When in France. Pretty excited about this little curry action here. <laughs> smells very legit as well. It is surprisingly excellent. The lamb, it is lamb, and it just kind of falls apart. It's got like a creaminess to it. Nice and salty, but not too salty. It's actually, I've been so surprised by the food here in the buffet because I don't usually associate that with like high quality food, but it is not bad. And these vegetables are legit steamed vegetables. Very good. Oh yeah, sounds <laughs> real crunchy. <laughs> it's really crunchy. There was tartar sauce near it and it looked like it was supposed to go on it. I didn't know, do you put tartar sauce on schnitzel? I had no idea, but it's on there. Oh yeah, I mean that's, it's super crunchy. I got a thinner piece, but it's so good and delicious in there. And it's actually like, I know it sounds pretty crazy, but it's actually pretty good in there. The meat is like still tender. I'm very impressed. Yeah, another like from a buffet, who would have thought? In addition to the included buffet, your cruise also comes with daily breakfast and dinner in the main dining room, as well as tons of other grab and go style food options. But if you'd like to change things up, there are 22 total restaurants, including fresh sushi, Italian food, steaks, American grub, Mexican food, and they even have a pizzeria. If y'all caught the first video we made when we boarded the ship, we've already introduced you to our bionic bartender friends. I've got a uh, Tom Collins, I think. I think so. They have a whole list of cocktails, so I just pick something that I don't normally drink, but there's, I think, three parts of gin in here. Three, I don't know if that's a full shot, but. <laughs> this guy makes a meat cocktail. We got some of the Collins varieties. I think you got a Tom and I got a yeah. John Collins. John? One of them is uh, gin and one of them is vodka. Yeah, this you one's got the, the gin. gin. One. I got the vodka. I don't know, gin's a little too spicy for me. Yeah, but they're pretty good and they're really just fun to watch, aren't they? Oh yeah. I mean, we don't typically drink mixed drinks, but these two guys here are just so funny that we just keep coming back here. They have a place called Izumi, which has sushi in one section and then in the other section they have this whole hibachi grill so we've already tried the sushi mm -hmm. it's delightful and we saw the hibachi grill and we're like we gotta get over there we've been sat at our table the grill is very hot there are a bunch of empty seats here but we've been informed that they are all going to be full so we are going to have a party in this little corner of the restaurant i think oh yeah we're going to start a fire i think That's our guy. <laughs> so all the way from Tokyo, Japan, hi? Hi. hi. Yes, but originally of the Philippines, and I'm just your fake Japanese chef for tonight. <laughs>
everything is grilled to perfection, you guys. So we've got some delicious chicken morsels here. I kept that real simple, but this is lobster right there. Mm -hmm. And then I think you gave me some shrimp. Yeah, pieces. you got is that what this is? Okay. I did the steak. And then I got all of the shrimp. He gave yeah. me a bonus of chicken. And this was the tiger shrimp? Yes. For, yeah. Okay, I want to try this first. Oh my god. It's covered in this amazing garlic sauce. Whoa. Y'all, I do not eat steak that often. That is so good. It's so juicy and tender. Oh my god. And it's medium rare, which is my favorite. Nice. So sorry for you all who like the well done. So these little hunks here are the lobster. He he grilled them in the, uh, the tail, and then the shell just kind of popped off. And uh, we were left with these delicious little morsels. I've, I don't even remember the last time I had lobster, maybe in Vegas or something. I don't know, it's been ages though. It's been a while. I'm pretty excited, I really don't know what to expect. Whoa. Beautiful. That is no joke. Delicious. He had this giant wad of butter that he put on there, and then a bunch of sauce that he that he cooked it in. It's the lobster has soaked up all of the flavor. It is so friggin' good. It's a little uh, citrusy. Yeah, mm. Wait, squeeze good. some lemon on there for you. Yeah, did he? I can taste it. Oh, yeah. We are headed to our last place. It is actually. Uh, the next day because our reservations fell through for this place. Yeah, we we're trying to squeeze in two dinners in one night yeah. and it did not work out. But this place is called Wonderland and everyone else that we were on the cruise with has been there and we've seen their Instagram stories from it and it looks amazing. Get ready for some crazy food madness. Yeah, crazy cocktails, crazy food, crazy colors. I think it's going to be an interesting meal. Oh yes. So we've gotten our menu. It is completely blank and we have to paint it on there. He said, you paint what's in your heart and he'll bring it for dinner. <laughs> and tonight our chefs are gonna twist their culinary kaleidoscopes to make these creations come to life, yes? So I want you to open your mind and see them come to life, okay? But I must say welcome, welcome, and let me know if you need anything on the hatter and I'll be around all night long, yes? Perfect, thank <laughs> you. And then what did you get, this Ashley? This is a Cheshire cat. Ooh. So, so we've got some cotton candy, a little vial of some stuff. Yeah. Oh my lord. Yeah. Melty. Yeah. Well, look at that color it made. I might need another. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently we're eating based on the elements. The first one was fire. This one is ice. Ice. So I guess it's supposed to be cold. It's a little ice cream cone. Yeah. But he said it's um wasabi and crab in and the middle. Crab. And then avocado puree on the top. With seaweed in the cutest little leafy thing. Yeah. Of course. So you're supposed to eat it from the bottom, he said. Yeah. From the pointy end. Get that wasabi first. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I got crab. <laughs> oh, that is wasabi. Woo, it's opening it all up. Pretty wasabi. Yeah. It gets in the nose, so you know it's good. So he's brought out all kinds of dishes. We're having a hard time remembering everything that he said. But uh, this one was beef, and he said that it's caramelized like a brownie. I actually thought it was a brownie when he <laughs> it does brought it out. Like it feels like a brownie. I I'm a little skeptical that <laughs> this they stuff is like going to be jerky. good. No, I mean, it really kind of falls apart. He said, you don't have to cut it, you just have to look at it. Is that what he said? <laughs> that's actually damn good. Yeah, that's really good. It's really tender and juicy, like a delicious chunk of barbecued beef. It's really good, yeah. We've got a big old ball of chocolate that he melted oh away God. with some hot sauce hot of some caramel. kind, caramel. 
Oh my god, there's I think there's chocolate and there's brownie down at the very bottom. Yeah. And vanilla and caramel and it's on rice crispy treats. Oh my god, it smells like magic. It is magic. Oh my gosh. It's salted caramel with that brownie and chocolate and ice cream. Oh, oh yeah, this is by far the best of the evening. So this is the forbidden fruit. Ooh. Whoa! It's not a real apple! <gasps> Ta -da. And he also brought a poisonous mushroom. Good evening, Good evening, sir. Yes. Have a Make sure you go through the golden door and oh. you find yourself getting taller, shorter overnight. It's quite normal, okay? okay? We've split up with Josh and Ashley. We are back in our room. We are very full. Oh my gosh, so full. That was an interesting way to end our food tour. Some of it was amazing. Some of it was uh, a little strange, oh, but I guess weird. that's the point of the Wonderland. <laughs> Probably the most unique dining experience at Wonderland that we've yeah, ever had. Definitely the most unique experience on this cruise. And Izumi... Uh, we're still dreaming about that steak. Yeah, it was it great. It was so magical and delicious. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this one. Yeah. And of course, we're going to have more videos for you f from the Symphony of the Seas coming up. So make yeah. sure you stay tuned for that as well. And let us know if you've been on cruises before, what some of your favorite yeah, dishes definitely. or the coolest or strangest or most unique things you've tried while you've been at sea. Good night, adventures. We'll see you on the road. <laughs>